Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do outlines in Cricut Design Space. Um, this video is part of a new Cricut Beginner series that I'm doing, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the alerts so you don't miss any new videos. And if there's anything specific that you'd like to learn, please leave it in the comments down below and I will definitely review those and uh, look at making videos in the future based off of those. So let's just jump right into it today. Um, we are going to be making outlines and I'm going to show you how to do that with text and also with images. So first I want to draw your attention to the text panel over here. We're going to be playing in here and um, we also are going to need our layers panel over here. Um, this is a newer look for Cricut Design Space. If you look at my older videos, you'll notice that uh, this is a newer function um, that just makes it a little bit easier to see all your layers and you can also label them, which is great um, for when you have like a million layers in a working project. Uh, so let's start by just adding some text here and I'm just going to add something simple like mama i was looking at making a shirt with this actually so this is just the basic font here and i've just typed mama um you can alter the font by looking through cricut's fonts here or you can also access your own fonts that are loaded on your computer that you have downloaded on the systems tab here and you can just find any font that you want to use um, for your design. So I think I'm just going to stick with the regular Cricut one, the, the Cricut default, which is Cricut Sans, because I think it's all right for, for this particular project. And uh, now we are going to start creating outlines. So I use these primarily for two things when it comes to text. One is to create actual outlines to almost make it look an outline font. And another is um, for using it for stickers or just to uh, kind of play around to create new um, border type effects with the text. So we are going to be using the offset function, which is at the top panel here. And the first thing we're going to do, what I like to do for most projects is to duplicate this because when we start playing around with this, um, we don't want to lose our original layer that we're kind of working with here, just in case we may, we do something wrong so we can revert back. Um, so I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to go to offset. And I was playing around with these numbers quite a bit. And I think for um, just a simple outline for this project, we want to go with a pretty low number. So I went with 0.02. Um, just because we only want a little bit of an outline for this project. Um, next, well, let me show you first. So if I was to remove this, this gave it kind of like a bubble shape look, right? But what we want is to actually create a border off of it. So what we're going to do is now take the offset layer that we just created and create another offset. So let's do that again. It's going to make this 0 0.02 again, just for demonstrative purposes here. All right, cool. And actually, if you change the colors now, let's change this first offset layer. There you go. You'll see kind of what it looks like before we proceed. Um, so if you don't like the space here, you can change that um, and do this over again and make it smaller. So again, we use 0 0.02 for this kind of spacing. If you want it less, you could do 0.01 or you can go lower than that. If you want it bigger, of course, you can always go bigger as well. Same thing for the outside here. If you wanted a thicker border, um, you would just create an offset that's slightly bigger. So again, I put 0.02 for this offset, but let's say you wanted a very, very thick one that maybe matches the size of the font. Um, you can definitely adjust that there. So now that we're happy with how this looks, we're going to grab the two offset layers and we're going to do a slice. There we go. So I'm going to delete this white layer here, this black layer here, and you'll see now that I have the mama there and then I have that outline there. And there we go. That's how we do a basic outline with text um, that created a nice little border. 
Now, if you were to make stickers, there's a few different ways that we would do that. Um, I will show that in another video. This is just a simple one to show you how we can create an outline um, using text. And it'd be the similar process using images. You would just load that in. You know what, let's go through that together. Done one here. Yeah. You would just load that in and similar to with the text here, we would do an offset, the first one to kind of create the gap. I think I'll do a bigger one for this just because it is a bigger image. And then again, a second offset off that first one. If we set this to white, you can see that gap there. I actually want to show you one more thing with the text. So this is not how um, I'm using the text for my particular project. So with the mama here, I'm going to duplicate that again. I'm going to bring that down. And I am going to create an outline using the offset again. But this time I am going to do a really, really thin one. So let's do like 0 0.01. Um, yeah, so that's outlined there. So I'm going to grab that with the bottom layer and I'm going to do a slice again. And I'm going to get rid of all these here. And there we go. So you see my slice result here. I didn't do the gap, right? This is um, a text, like kind of like an, like an outline text that I want to use for my project, um, which is a little bit different than this one here that looks more like kind of an outline that you'd have for a sticker. But this one is great because you basically can create your own outline text with pretty much any font. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah, that is it for outlines. Be sure to watch out for my next Cricut Beginner Series video. Um, and thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.